What's poppin', man? How you doing? I'm well, man. I'm well, man. No complaints. Just happy to be here in San Antonio. Definitely. Antonio, man. Yeah. So tell me something, man. How? When did you fall in love with hip hop? Um, shit, man. I fell in love, man. Maybe back early '90s, man. When I heard uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Thuggish Ruggish Bomb. That's when nice. That nice that way. Like, I ain't never heard cats make music like that. And I was just like, yo, whatever they're doing. I want to be a part of that shit. Like, I want to listen to that shit more. You know what I'm Definitely. Yeah. So nothing is really what it seems to be then. Because this, this is going to my next question. One of the best hooks that, I mean, we were just talking about it earlier. Tell me about that record. Nothing is what it seems. To, I mean, that is what it is, right? Yeah, now. yeah. I mean, nothing, nothing is ever what it seems is an important record because that's the last record I dropped before I felt like everything started taking off. You know what I'm saying? So... It was just like my last joint before I had people helping me and support. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's an important record. The hook is definitely one of my favorite ones. So, yeah. All right. Well, look, man. I know you got to do a show. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Yeah. You know. But I mean, it's just interesting to find someone that's so humble. You know, but yet you know, inexperienced, but yet so open and 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 just really kind of soaking all this information you know all these relationships you're building you're networking you're hustling you're grinding you know you're really doing it i think the audience we as the audience we want to see you know this tape you're working on okay yeah absolutely you think you could shoot us a 16. man yeah man um yo i'm far from violent i never bust shit but please don't come around me flexing on that fuck shit Cause I'm rolling with the gang And OG super bust quick And please don't hate my girl Enjoy that sucker that you stuck with See I'm ballin' Grindin' like I'm in another league I'm never taking days off These niggas tired of fatigue I had a talk with Wiz Khalifa He said it sent me to succeed But when I told my close friends They said he was probably high on weed Well damn <laughs> Although it's true I quickly had to date it Cause whenever you start winning, There's always someone who discredit the moves you tend to make, the context you would get. Even if you tell the truth for your situation, this legit look all the niggas in my city, they overlooked and wouldn't fuck with me. And all the niggas they respect are showing love to me. It's funny how the tables turn and the floor becomes a ceiling. And that square, that whole circle, now is the nigga who's appealing. It's Gerald Walker. Pow! Ladies and gentlemen, right here, Shady Little DJs, Mashup Records, World Star Latino. This is how we do all day, every day. We campaign in music, HelloSwiffer.com. Gerald Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you check out your frequency. This dude just raised up your electricity. And if you don't know, now you know. Make sure you stay tuned. This dude is blowing up and will be coming at you real soon. <clears throat> this is the two camp bread, JC Floors, alongside my guest, Gerald Walker. Enough said. We getting it. Man, how you doing? What's a good look right there, man? So Trey, everybody over watching right now, you just killed this show right here in San Antonio, Scoremore. You know, brought to you by Scoremore. Shout out Scoremore. Trey, so how? When did you fall in love with hip hop, man? Well, you know, like I tell people, man, you know the reason I do music is that it really formal event. And uh, you know, I started doing it behind my older brother who was incarcerated, so I never can really say I, I, I was brought to it. My father in love with it. I was just kind of forced to type it, forced to do it a certain type of way, you know. And with me Vent, you know, just a blessing that people can, can relate to how I vent at times, you know. That's why my, my father grows every every day long the long. So, Oh, can you relate?
late, uh, was there any of the, as far as MCs go, was there any like in particular that you, you know, kind of looked up to that you kind of felt like you could relate to as someone from the outside coming into the... I could relate to a whole bunch of different music artists. You know, like I say, my, I came out the gate behind my older brother, you know, he was able to rap, you know, he incarcerated me like citizens. Trey, as far as after the project, um, when it delivers, and I'm sure it's going to be highly anticipated because, I mean, you just came back, you know, um, what's the next step for you, man? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm not sure for me, I, I just released my cartoon series. It just came out Friday with, uh, this will start Rick Ross and Kyle Adventures and Trey the Truth. Uh, I'm always in the community, so, you know, a lot of people know ABM for one thing, but I also got Angel by nature, which is for right. the little ones coming up in the city, man. You know, I'm trying to start an uh, emergency shelter. Of course, you know, I got my own holiday. I always do that every year. That's never going to stop. Uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff going, man. It's just the more I work, the better out I am. So, that's what I do. Unprecedented show. People going, ah! You know what I'm saying? Like two kids, Kuliki Daka's flying all over the place. This dude definitely killed it. So make sure you stay tuned. Trey the Truth album it will be coming at you real soon. Intellect, intellect, Google his music. It's it's like an army, so militant. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to San Antonio for the first time, holding it down for the South, able to collab with the pioneers of music. Yellow Wolf, how you doing? That was an incredible intro, dude. I don't even know what to say after that. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great, man. You know, San Antonio for the first time. Trade the Truth came out. We rocked the show. The crowd was amazing. It seems to be uh, the you know the crowds that are coming out to the shows are are all they all have the same vibe, which is which is dope to me. And what it means to me is that the music is. The music is exactly attracting the same type of crowd, you know? It doesn't matter where in the country I go, the same type of crowd is coming to, you know, to the shows and wilding out. It's a good feeling, man. Like, it, it has its own culture. So, so Texas, man, you know? Texas is like a, is a cousin state to Alabama. That's right. And uh, I've been fortunate to work with great artists from Texas. Uh, first Slim Thug with my boy Jim Johnson on I Run. Then I was fortunate enough to work with Bun B, um, Paul Wall, Trey The Truth. Um, so I've I've been fortunate, man, and Texas has been holding me down. So it's good to make this run. It's the first, the first of the next four shows we'll be doing out here. San Antonio was the first stop. So we drove 30 hours to get here. <laughs> you get asked the same questions. What's it like to work with, you know, Am and Dre? What is it like for them to be working with you? Um, well, I imagine for, um, I don't know, man, I guess, you know, there's a certain swing in my cadence that I'm bringing that I think that is new, you know, at least to the, that particular camp. Um, 
you know, working with Marshall has been an honor, you know, and just going in there and dropping verses and like, you know, just kind of like bouncing off ideas and it, it's in the South, there's a certain, there's a certain bounce, there's a certain way, you know, that right. you ride over a hi-hat and, um, <laughs> no weights and shit. And, um, nah, man, I think that they, they, they appreciate it. They appreciate the culture of it, you know, because I, I, I um, take pride in, in being able to represent it the way it's supposed to be represented, you know, and, um. Because I grew up a fan. I grew up a fan of just beat riding. Not so much as what you're saying, but how you're saying what you're saying over a, a melody. Right. And that's, uh, that was what was infectious to me, you know, as a, as a fan. And this is when you fell in love with hip-hop. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, early on, like, I, you know, I didn't even know what I was listening to when I fell in love with hip-hop. I didn't know, you know, I was too young to realize the, you know, what genre. There was no one around me. I was in the country, you know, but, yeah, I fell in love with, excuse me, I fell in love with the 808 sound and, you know, just rap music, you know what I'm saying? Like, Beastie Boys and... Run DMC and Ice Cube and you know then then came hieroglyphics and you know uh, Outkast etc cetera, etc cetera, Mob Deep and I mean there's just so many you know definitely yeah, but whatever you know like it there's there's lots of music that has influenced my sound. Yeah, like you're actually working on a project um, which is in the works right now. Um, and uh, I was able to catch, you know, a glimpse of it uh, from a wrap-up TV. Uh, can you shed some light on that? Uh, yeah, did I, um, I'm working on a project right now called Radioactive that'll be dropping this October, and it'll be my freshman release with Shady Records. Um, so basically, it's my first, uh, my first, uh, album released from a major label you know i've um, i've dropped mixtapes up until this point you know no radio play um just grind just grinding yeah, yeah just putting it out and um so radioactive is 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 my take on you know being a mainstream artist and really just bringing all of my influences into an album that is ready for the world and other than just being ready for a region, you know? Definitely. Um, Yella, uh, before we let you go, um, just wanted wanted to go ahead and touch base. What can the world expect from Yella Wolf? This dude has the most broad questions I've ever now I gotta give it to you man I give it to you your your questions require a paragraph of an answer but I'm gonna I'm gonna short I'm gonna shorten the answer to say uh, what the world can expect from me is uh, evolution and growth and uh, maturity and uh, you know God willing, I'll make timeless music that will be around the world long after I'm gone. That's a great plug. And if you don't know, now you know. You just came down, fought with David Bowie right here outside the Alamo, San Antonio, Texas. Yellow Wolf, enough said. Stay tuned. He's coming at you real soon. What up, this is Yellow Wolf, you're watching Radio Planet TV. Yeah, we'll go out, trade it to. Shout out to Radio Planet. Yeah, here, keep it locked.